Hey there, John from SNS Cycle with Todd today, and we are going to be doing an install on what, Todd? On Dyna Grand National 2 and a 2, full system install. Nice, and so uh, this particular bike that we're doing an install on today is the 2006 Harley Davidson Super Glide Dyna FXD. Most uh, Dynas will accept this application, correct? That's correct. Most Dynas with mid mounts and forward controls, this would be a great system for, except for floorboard equipped switchback models. Ooh, sorry guys. sorry guys. Well, now that we've discussed what we're gonna be doing today, let's go ahead and review the tools that you will need to do the installation. This installation is possible with just simple hand tools. However, the more robust your tool cabinet is, the easier it'll be and the more time you'll save. So we're gonna go ahead and go over step one of the process. Today, it's gonna to be featured by Mr. Todd. So step one is? First thing we need to do is get this stock system off here. Before we do that, before we pull out your wrenches, we need to disconnect the oxygen sensors. And why do you need to do that, Todd? They're very delicate and it's easy to damage. And they're kind of a pain in the butt to replace because they're expensive. Ooh, good note, good note. So no hammers and don't be aggressive. So the connector for the front oxygen sensor is actually behind the regulator. To get to it, we need to remove these two quarter inch bolts. After the bolts are removed, we can let the regulator hang down so that we can access the front oxygen sensor connector. Gently pry up on this tab to release the connector. And then we're gonna we have to remove it from this. Now that we've removed the front O2 sensor, which is under the regulator up there, we're gonna to move to the rear, right Todd? Yes, and the rear is in a wiring nest underneath the seat here. So the first thing we gotta do is get this off, and then we'll see the wiring nest where the rear connector is. Perfect, let's take the seat off. Now with the seat off, you can see how easy it is to access the rear oxygen sensor connector. Pry up the tab and disconnect. You have to pull the other end of the wire to get the connector through the mess of frame and battery tray. Remove the nut from the header clamp. With the heat shield loose, you can slide the header clamp over the bolt, which will allow you to remove the bolt. Next, slide the clamp off the header. Now that the header clamps have been removed from the stock exhaust, we've come to a certain point where it features the passenger peg, Todd. Yes, unfortunately right now, the stock passenger peg that comes equipped on some Dyna models, not all of them came with passenger peg stock. The passenger peg does not fit with the Grand National 2 2. So for the time being, we're gonna remove it and we're gonna add in a killer exhaust. Let's get to it. Loosen the bolts to remove the passenger peg bracket. We're just going to remove the rest of these front clamps and these are pretty crusted. Crusty. You might need to use some penetrating oil to get these off. And one tip to make it easier to remove the headers is to slide the heat shield back. It'll give you a little more access. Using a quarter inch drive ratchet and socket makes it easier to access the header flange nuts. Remove your stock exhaust system, taking care not to scratch your cylinder heads. Next, remove the exhaust flanges and retaining rings We'll save those for installation. Remove the stock exhaust mount from the transmission. Line up your SNS exhaust bracket to your transmission case holes to ensure proper orientation. 
Remove stock hardware as necessary. Install new hardware with blue Loctite, tightening to 15 to 18 foot-pounds. We're installing on a 2006 model Dyna where the bracket bolts directly to the transmission. On most Dyna models, this spacer needs to go between the bracket and the transmission. To prevent exhaust leaks, remove your old gaskets and install the new supplied gaskets. Now that we have the stock system completely removed, we can remove the oxygen sensors. Early model Dynas use 18 mm oxygen sensors in the front and rear header. To remove the rear oxygen sensor, use a 7 8 wrench. Make sure to hold the pipe firmly because these can frequently be difficult to remove. You want to avoid getting any chemical on the sensor portion right here and keep it just to the threads. Before reinstalling your oxygen sensors, make sure to apply a small amount of anti-seize to just the threads of the sensor. Stay away from the tip of the sensor because that can destroy the sensor element inside. Use our 7 8 wrench to snug each sensor. Now the header is ready for heat shields. To install your heat shields, first thing you want to do is take your heat shield and lay the header into the heat shield. Take note of where the heat shield hose clamp clip is. When installing the heat shields, refer to the diagram in the instructions for proper hose clamp orientation. Start the hose clamps in the heat shield before assembling to the header. At this time, don't tighten the hose clamps fully. Reinstall the stock flange and circlip at this time. Circlip can be installed by working one edge over and going around. To install the header, first we want to seat the front cylinder and we're going to come around to the rear you might have to tug slightly to get it around the fins to get it seated properly. Now we'll start some exhaust nuts, just a couple threads to keep things from falling off.
you'll know that you have the brackets in the correct orientation when they match the trim on the transmission bracket. Nope. You can see down here this angle matches. Right here, this angle matches. Does not match. So with these in their correct orientation, we can now install these to the transmission bracket. Slide the gaskets onto the header so that they are even with the header tube. With the clamp loosely on the muffler, slide the muffler and clamp together onto the header. Tighten the top muffler mount bolts just enough so that you can still position the muffler. Tighten the rear header heat shield hose clamps. Slide the second header heat shield piece forward to close this gap. Slide the muffler forward to close the muffler to heat shield gap. Check all your heat shield hose clamps for tightness and adjust as necessary. Once you're finished with heat shield alignment, tighten your muffler mount bolts to 15 to 18 foot pounds. Tighten the muffler clamp to 42 foot pounds. Slide the bottom muffler with clamp onto the header. Tighten the bottom muffler bracket bolts just enough because you still have to adjust the muffler to heat shield clearance. Close the muffler to heat shield gap and then tighten the heat shield hose clamps. Tighten the bottom muffler mount bolts to 15 to 18 foot pounds. Again, tighten the muffler clamp to 42 foot pounds. Okay, now we're gonna, after we have our system completely in, installed and aligned, we're gonna do the final step, which is tightening the head bolts. We're gonna tighten these evenly to about 100 to 120 inch pounds. Not foot pounds, John. That'll rip it right off. All right, so now the last step is for us to reconnect the stock oxygen sensors. Take your stock oxygen sensor pigtail and snake it through the battery box. Reconnect the front oxygen sensor. Apply blue Loctite to the regulator bolts and tighten to 100 inch-pounds. Alright John, what do you think? It's pretty amazing. I hope you guys think it's amazing too. Now for the final step, what do you think? There's only one thing left to do, go run it. Test time, let's go hear it.